great so in today's video i'm going to be sharing with you a very beautiful love story whereby these people met on online dating site and if you want to know which kind of online dating site these people met watch this video till the end it is going to be a very interesting video it is going to encourage you who is looking for love not only online but even if it is just looking for love anywhere <laughs> this video is very perfect for you and not only that guys i'm also going to be doing my makeup as you can see i don't have any makeup on my face so we are going to be doing makeup while i tell you this beautiful love story to moisturize it so guys before i start this beautiful love story I want to give a little disclaimer there is no crime or there is nothing wrong for someone or for a woman to choose to date a certain race if someone chooses to date only black men doesn't make that woman a racist not at all or if someone chooses to date only white men then also does not make that lady a racist it's what she prefers we should let people be we should let people to be free to choose whatever they want to choose or to date whichever kind of a man they choose to be with as i told you in my last video whereby i talked of someone who is looking for a white man a white man is just a man a black man is just a man what makes a difference is the behavior of that man so we should be open-minded and let people be and we shouldn't take things the negative way let's be positive so let us start our story guys so guys i want to tell you how i came to know this girl who is telling this story i came to know this girl on my video of how we met she watched that video and I like it so much because um, I have a white boyfriend that I'm dating and that boyfriend is Italian <laughs> so she told me the whole story on how she met that Italian boyfriend and that story really touched me and I thought I should share it with you guys so this girl is a tanzanian and she was raised by her mom by a single mother i think she has three siblings yeah so her mother so she's from a single parent family though her dad is alive so growing up seeing how her mother suffered alone raising her and her siblings it really made her hate black men though she says that afterwards she, she had to forgive her father but she hated black men and sweared to never date a black man and she told herself that i'll get married to a white man though she was still young but that is what she told herself so she told me one day she went to visit her cousin who was married to a white man and when she arrived she found the husband of that cousin playing with the kids and afterwards this husband started helping out in the house like washing dishes cleaning and this girl was really really impressed she was like yes this is why i say i need to get married to a white man because they care so much look at this man he's helping out on the wife the cousin so she was like i was really moved and my desires for wanting a white man really increased <laughs> so time 
went by and it was time for her to go to the university and she went to the university as you know when you are at the university you are big enough to start dating but this girl really wanted a white man but the university she went it was only black men there was no white man so eventually she started dating black boys but that is not what she wanted but as you know you grow up <laughs> you see your friends dating and you're there you don't have anyone and she did not know really where to find a white man she was forced by people surrounding her to start dating a black man so she started so she started dating black boys and time went by but she was not happy in that relationship with black boys because for her her mind told her that i will be happy when i start dating a white man so as time went by she thought that she was wasting the time of that black man and decided to tell him that you know what i am sorry but let's end this relationship because it will go nowhere i'm not okay with this relationship the problem is not you but i don't want to waste your time we should end this right now she told me that uh, that boyfriend that she was dating that black boyfriend that she was dating never understood her at all why she stopped the relationship but she told me that was the right thing to do for her because she wasn't happy and she was not ready to continue wasting the time of that man so the relationship ended like that and eventually she finished the university and so she started working and life continued and she was still single even when she started working she wasn't dating anyone because she wanted a white boyfriend but she told me that it was so difficult for her to find that white man because where she worked where she lived she never saw a white man but back in her mind she continued insisting to herself that i must find a white man i will get married to a white man that is what this girl wished for that is what this girl's love life was like so she told me that friends could ask her all the time why are you not dating why are you still single especially the colleagues that they used to work together but she told them that you won't believe i'm not dating anyone because i want a white man then they laughed at her they couldn't even believe her guys that this girl really was serious wanting to date a white man so she told me one day she went to visit a friend a long time friend i think they had started together when she was there then she saw this friend chatting with a white man on the phone then she asked this friend, how did you know this white man? Then the friend was like, I'll tell you, but why are you asking? Then she told her that I'm looking for a white man to marry me. I really need a white man. I really need a white boyfriend. This, then this friend laughed a lot and told her that if you are really serious, uh, I'm going to tell you, 
I've met this man on online dating site and we've been chatting for so long but it is not only this man I've been also chatting with other men but I was discouraged by my friends so even if you join these dating sites make sure that you don't tell anyone for now just keep it as a secret and continue chatting with these men because if you tell your friends then they are going to discourage you immediately <laughs> if they get to know you're chatting with white men on online dating sites and i understand guys because a lot of things are happening on online dating sites people have been raped people's lives have been destroyed by men they met online or by women they met online so i totally understand why she told her that friends will discourage her so guys that friend helped her to join the dating site that day and she was so happy and that is when her journey to look for a white man started she started chatting with different men in that site she told me there is a point she reached all her contact in her phone was only white men <laughs> oh my god it's so funny guys so i she told me she could chat and chat and chat and chat every day guys she told me her journey wasn't an easy one it was a bit tough because she could chat with lots of men who aren't serious some were scammers she told me there was a time she was almost about to lose her money in her bank account because she was chatting with a scammer without knowing and this scammer told her that you send me your bank account then i'm going to send you some money <laughs> you know so god helped her and she never gave the account number or anything about her account details but she also told me there is a time she, there is a time she was chatting with a guy and then this guy one time called like on cam <laughs> then this guy was busy <laughs> i hope you understand doing himself in front of the camera can you imagine some people can be sick in the mind but those are some kind of people you can find on online dating so it is something to be very careful about when you do it so guys those are some of the challenges that she faced before meeting the right man for her and she also told me she joined more than seven dating sites before she met that man so some of those dating sites i'm going to be reading them for you because i have never heard of some of these dating sites one was international cupid dating.com afro introduction afro romance <laughs> facebook dating site tinder a bonacio dating site true african dating site can you imagine guys <laughs> that is how far this girl went and she told me after chatting with a lot of men she reached at a point whereby she wanted to give up and she was like i'm done i'm done today i am going to sign out of those dating sites and let myself be if a white man comes into my life or in my country if i get to meet a white man that would be fine if not then i don't know but i'm done <laughs> she told me uh that day she received a message from a guy from the site and this guy was interested to get to know her more when she read the message she was like should i ignore it and continue with my plan of signing out or should i continue like should i reply him 
in the end she decided to reply to this guy and this guy was really really serious because every question this girl asked him the guy answered without any without any problem you know there's some guys you can ask questions and they, they'll be like i can't answer you that you know <laughs> but for this guy it was very different she was he was very serious and they could chat and chat and chat for so long then after some time this guy asked her if they can chat out of the dating site she accepted and they continued chatting on the phone but she told me there is a time this guy went quiet and then it was her to check on him every time then she started sensing like maybe the guy isn't interested uh, he was just like those people who just joke with women online so she also decided to you know to keep quiet as i told you guys in one of my relationship videos that love is two-sided you can't be the one initiating the communication the other side too should make an effort so this girl was so smart to to know this so she stopped checking on him and that was a wake-up call for this guy <laughs> also asked him like why were you quiet why are you acting like you're not all that interested in me anymore and the guy was like you know you're so beautiful and i am ugly <laughs> i don't think that you are still single a beautiful girl like you to still be single mm -mm. it is not really adding up to me <laughs> Then the girl assured him that I am single and I really love you. I don't see any ugliness on you. You are a very handsome man and I really like you. I wish to know you more. So they continued their relationship. It became really strong. As to an extent, this guy introduced, introduced this girl to his mother by talking on the phone so she talked to the mother though guys language barrier as i told you italians with english it is a problem so thanks for google translation these people are able to communicate so the girl talked to the mother of the guy and some of the relatives of this man talked to the girl too on the phone like the family started knowing this girl and also she told me that I came to know this man is really serious because whenever we could talk if he is with family he will show me that I am with my family here on the camera uh, or I am at home he could show I am at home on camera nothing to hide he has never hidden anything from her. He is very open. If there is a problem, you know, sometimes can happen a misunderstanding, especially when you are on long distance relationship, but they always solve it. They always solve it immediately because they are all open. And it is a very good thing, guys. If you find such kind of a person, he is a keeper guys he is a keeper because most people you meet online they'll hide a lot of things some will be married and hide it to you talk to you then immediately they close the camera <laughs> without telling you even why but it's because maybe the wife entered the room so finding a man who is open who can show you his family then that's really good so she was so happy that she has finally found the right man she 
she was really really happy and when she was sure that this man is the right one she decided also to introduce this man to the mother and guys the mother was really happy that her daughter has found the man for her you know mothers always like when their daughters find a man to settle with it's their dream <laughs> So the mother was so happy and, and blessed the relationship though it is a long distance relationship but I think this is a modern mother guys <laughs> ah, the mother of this girl is a modern mother because most mothers would oh my god would be like have you not found a man here in your country <laughs> But this mother accepted and supported the daughter, which is a very good thing, guys. A very, very good thing. So, guys, in uh, 2020, last year, this guy told this girl that he wants to marry her because he is so in love with her <laughs> and she could not believe it she thought maybe the guy was joking but this guy was serious and this girl also told me that all this has happened because of patience because it's not easy guys it's not easy at all it's not easy at all to find the right guy especially online it's not easy and when you're in Africa it is also not easy to find a white man it is really difficult so her joining the site and eventually finding the right man for her it is not something that is easy but she said with prayers everything is possible so you need to give all to god yes you might have a dream maybe you want to get married to a certain kind of a man but it shouldn't only be up to you you should also give it to god so that god can help you find the right man for you so it worked for her she found the right man so guys after the proposal they started the process of the visa so that this girl can come in italy and they get married as you know the problem with the pandemic they are still waiting for the borders to be opened so we pray that it doesn't happen another lockdown so that this couple can get married the wedding will be here in italy in july <laughs> so i'm so excited for her i'm so happy for her guys you know finding love is really beautiful it is something that every woman wish for so we should be happy for her <laughs> so as we are talking she told me that uh she's so happy that god has given her the right man for her because they because they are so perfect for each other guys they are so perfect you know if you find your soulmate you know you know immediately that this person is my soulmate and that is what has happened god is great guys god is great but she also told me that if she could give an advice for someone who is looking for love online her advice is never give up I don't even 
you know why We're still on the opposite side Maybe we cross the line Oh, you would make you me cry And I know that you know all the things that made us My feelings for you don't go And I know that you know all the things that broke us I still have to let you go Did my hand and follow me How do you in the fantasy? It's all the gorgeous, something sweet How do you in the fantasy? I'll be there, you'll be with me How do you in the fantasy? I'll be with me Never ask money from men online. It will make serious men run away from you if you start asking money online. So don't ask for money. She also advised that you should show the man you're chatting with online that you are a responsible woman and you can take care of yourself. That is so important. I've talked of this, but surprisingly, it was also her advice that do not ask money. Show this man that you are capable of taking care of yourself. up with the makeup from this love story of today is to pray to God. Give all to God. He is going to guide you. Find the right man for you. Find the perfect man for you. <laughs> Who is for you? Your soulmate. Also, don't give up. Do not give up. Keep on searching. Keep on hoping while praying. <laughs> Not only that, be responsible. No man wants to marry an irresponsible woman, an irresponsible wife. Who wants such kind of a wife? No one. Even me, I never wanted an irresponsible man. So be responsible, never give up, but above all, pray to God. Thank you so much guys for watching this video. I really hope you enjoyed it and you liked my makeup look of today. <laughs> if you did, please give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, family, everyone that you think is going to enjoy this video. Comment below what you think about this video. <laughs> I would like to know, and if you like this kind of content, also let me know. Watch my other videos too, they are so good. You have got a lot to learn from those videos, <laughs> so make sure you watch them. Subscribe if you have not subscribed. I love you so much. You're always here in my heart. Let us meet in my next video. Ciao, ciao. Mwah.